the Mac App Store is looking better than ever, with a new redesign making it easier to find amazing new AAA games and stunning indie games. It's 2018, and every year I like to stop and take a look at the best Mac App Store games right now. This video features games from this year, 2018, and late 2017. That's just how I always do these videos. Anyway, without further ado, here are the top 10 Mac App Store games of 2018. Okay, let's jump. As soon as we're low enough. Starting at number 10, we have State of Mind. This is a futuristic sci-fi thriller that explores the themes of trans humanism. Here is a little bit about the story. It takes place in Berlin in 2048, where the world is not in good shape. There is limited resources, illnesses, and crime. State of Mind is a very underappreciated video game. I think this is because the gameplay can sometimes be a little slow and the movement is somewhat awkward at times. However, if you look past that, if you can, it has a decent story. The graphics are really interesting. They are very different, that's for sure. And there is a solid music soundtrack here. It's worth taking a look at if you're into story-based games or adventure titles. Good evening, sir. Today is January 12th, 2048. It is 626 p.m. What? How late is it? You slept 17 hours, sir. Number nine is SteamWorld Dig 2. Yes, this game came out late last year, but it's so good, I had to include it in this video. SteamWorld Dig 2 takes all the successful elements from the first game, smashes them together, and outputs a complete masterpiece of a game. Sounds dramatic, but it's true. The game is all about mining. Players must dig their way underground and explore vivid worlds riddled with treasure, secrets, and traps. While you do all this, you'll encounter different types of enemies that offer different challenges. You can also swing across environments with a hook shoot and even fly around with a jet engine. It has rather low requirements, so most Macs can run this game. Number 8, we have Tacoma. Short but sweet is Tacoma. I wish this game was longer, I really do, because it ended far too soon. That is the only major downside of this title, for me anyway. The game takes place on a high-tech space station in the year 2088. You'll enter this space station after something has gone wrong with the crew. They've disappeared. Players can use a new 3D recording technology to find clues on what happened to them. It's so cool guys, this 3D recording stuff, because you can rewind fast forward and move through these recordings in real time. The game looks gorgeous, but because of this, it will require a slightly newer Mac model from maybe 2014 onwards, possibly, but I might be wrong there. And so for your enjoyment... Oh, oh. Whoa, what the hell was that? Odin, what was that? Debris has... Number seven is The Gardens Between. The Gardens Between strongly focuses on the aspect of time. You can fast forward and rewind time here to solve puzzles. And I must say, adjusting the time is quite frankly beautiful. And the game has really spent time to make sure it not only looks awesome, but that it just works. To understand what I mean, I'll give you a demonstration. That's cool, right? It features two characters that must help you to transport a light to the end of every level in order to complete it. The game definitely isn't going to blow anyone away, I know that, but the gardens between 
is happy in its own skin, making its own unique mark on the people who play it, I guess. Luckily, this game has modest requirements, so some older Macs from 2012 or 2013 can run this game. Number six, we have Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Released late 2017, this game was ported to Mac in 2018. Before this game was released on Mac, it had been years since we saw a new Lego game on our system, which was Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Players can join iconic superheroes and supervillains from different eras and realities as they go head to head with the time traveling Kang the Conqueror. The gameplay is very fluid and responsive, based on my own experience running it on a 5K iMac and a 2018 MacBook Pro, and the cutscenes and voice acting are stunning. Feral have done a good job once again optimizing the game for macOS, as it can run on most Macs, ranging back to 2012. Such devastation. Your might is unsurpassable, my Kang. Oh, I like that. Number five is Dandara. Here is an amazing new platform game for you. It is quite different, changing the pace and gameplay style from normal platform games, but I reckon that is why some of you might enjoy this one. To move around, you have to choose these white wall surfaces to jump to. All the levels have been designed around this also, which creates some very stunning and unique designs by the developers. This new approach to gameplay makes everything feel fast, but also responsive. However, it can still be challenging when you face numerous enemies at once. I strongly recommend playing with a controller instead of a mouse and keyboard. I used a PS4 controller wirelessly, and it's a better gaming experience, that is for sure. Number four, we have Life is Strange Before the Storm. After the huge success of the original Life is Strange on Mac, did you play that game? Feral Interactive have ported Before the Storm to our platform. Even if it arrived late, I'm still super happy it's here on the Mac App Store. Feral have done such a great job that it works on Macs way back to 2012. Before the Storm follows Chloe Price, a 16-year-old who forms an unlikely friendship with Rachel Maber, is that how you say her last name? A popular student, that is what she is, a popular student. The game includes a great story, choice and consequences, a great soundtrack, and Chloe's back talk feature to provoke others or to get your way. It's a solid game, actually. Check it out. Number three is Pillars of Eternity 2. The original Pillars of Eternity was a huge success when it was released back in 2015. Who remembers the game breaking records on Kickstarter for reaching nearly 4 million? That is good. And now with Pillars of Eternity 2 being released on Mac this year, it might just be one of the best RPG games for Mac. This game is a big deal, it is. It's a worthy successor, but has also improved upon all the elements of the original. Visually, it looks better, and some would argue it plays better with improved and new naval combat. Pillars of Eternity 2 won't be everyone's cup of tea, but if you like RPG games, you have to play this game. I haven't had the chance to test this game on Mac yet, but I think it should work on older Mac models also. Good luck. Number two, we have Dirt Rally. Originally released back in 2015, Feral ported Dirt Rally to Mac in late 2017. I had to include it on this list because it is maybe one of the best racing games we have on the Mac platform today in 2018. It works really well on old Macs from about 2012 in 720p with a stable 30 FPS, and it works even better on modern Macs with a frame rate 
of like 60, 1080p or whatever you can do. <laughs> if you have a more high-end Mac, Dirt Rally looks gorgeous. The game features rallycross and hill climb races, and it features sophisticated handling that captures what it is like to tear across the world in real rally cars. If you're yet to pick up this game, get it. That was a bit aggressive. Just get it, please. Let's look at some notable mentions. Alto's Adventure. Chichel. Starman. Gagorja. Forgotten Anne. We don't belong here. Old Man's Journey. Seven Billion Humans. Thrones of Britannia. And slaughtering all who oppose them. And finally, number one, we have Rise of the Tomb Raider. This is the sequel to the original Mac game Tomb Raider, released in 2013. Rise of the Tomb Raider was brought to Mac by Feral Interactive once again in early 2018. Yes, this video is full of Feral games. They are amazing people. Thank you guys. Anyway, this new game on Mac shows Lara learning new skills and discovering that she can do more than just survive. Players can leap, climb, and zipline their way across stunning but dangerous environments. The guerrilla combat is even better this time. You'll have lots of different weapons to choose from and you can upgrade them. You can get uh, everything from the bow to shotguns to improvised explosives. Even though this game requires a more new and high-end Mac, it plays extremely well on the machines it supports and it is just a solid gaming experience. Those are the top 10 Mac App Store games of 2018. What did you think of this year's episode? Are you happy with these games or disappointed? Did I miss a game? Please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.